environment um, for blockchain technology. Um, so there's quite a bit going on right now, especially at the state level. Just last year, there was, I believe, 64 blockchain or digital asset bills introduced, uh, 25 have passed, um, just over 200 introduced overall since 2013. And these really do vary. Um, some of them are very well intentioned, but some do miss the mark. Assemblymember member Vanell, you've been a true champion for innovation and a leader in this space. Uh, can you maybe talk about the work that you've done in New York? Maybe what's needed from our state and uh, federal legislators as well to help promote this technology? Well, one thing is important to say is that uh, when we look at uh, blockchain technology, just looking at the virtues and benefits of blockchain technology, it's the fact that uh, it's distributed, uh, it's, it's uh, democratic, some of the blockchains are permissionless, how do we use some of those uh, benefits to be able to benefit more people, more New Yorkers, more Americans, more people around the world? Um, and, and how do we how do we make sure that uh, we do you know good using these kinds of technologies? One of the things that we we have in New York uh, State and New York City is that we work in co collaboration, where we have something called a blockchain center, uh, where. It's like a blockchain uh, incubator for, for blockchain companies, but also educates people about the technology. One thing that's important about when we talk about this new technology, because blockchain was introduced only 10, uh, about, you know, a little over 10 years ago. So this is a new thing, right? A lot of regulators and a lot of people still don't know what it is. As a matter of fact, if we go around, and we're at CES, if we go around CES, I bet you, majority of the people don't know what blockchain technology is, what this digital ledger technology is. One of the jobs uh, as lawmakers uh, and as regulators um, uh, in New York and around the country is to educate folks about the opportunities with this technology. One thing that we can't also forget is that the regulators need to be educated on what this thing is also, right? The lawmaker needs to be educated. If anybody saw the Zuckerberg uh, hearings, anybody saw them? To hear the questions that our policymakers were asking, you know, I don't want to talk bad about them, but, you know, we have to say, you know, there, there needs to be an education for uh, many of the people that are making these decisions on what these technologies are, because as many people on this stage know that, uh, you know, America, and I, you know, I'm selfish with New York, but New York, America does not have to lead in blockchain. Right? Blockchain can be can happen anywhere. These technologies can happen anywhere. So we have to make sure that we have the proper regulatory environment to foster growth and innovation uh, in this country. 